what's going on guys beastly gamer here welcome to the beastly gamer channel so there's a lot of stuff going on with uh melanie mac i'm not sure if you guys know who she is but she's a, a streamer uh, she makes youtube content video content and she usually uh, comes from a perspective of a conservative perspective perspective or a christian perspective i've always uh, been a fan of her work uh, she's gone after neil Druckmann. she's going after some of these video game companies that have had an agenda of making women unattractive and in, in, injecting uh, certain agendas into video games and i pretty much agree with her 100 percent on uh, most of the stuff that i've seen recently she's come under fire uh because she she um made this this little uh, clip where she is talking about uh, her christian beliefs and i'm a christian myself i'm a christian conservative donald trump supporter i love my president can't wait till november uh but basically she said you know people call her a transphobe or you know against the alphabet people because she has, she has christian values and her christian values are that she cannot affirm something that's considered an abomination in the Bible. Nobody's perfect, but you know, she she wants to stand up for her beliefs, and it's okay for every other religion to do so. Talk to a Muslim about their belief system and see how many people will come out and try to cancel them. It doesn't happen very often, but usually, if you're a Christian, you're considered a bigot. You're considered all kinds of phobes if you say what Christianity teaches us, what Jesus teaches his followers that homosexuality is an abomination it's a sin and it states in the bible and i'm going to paraphrase that if a man sleeps with a man the way that he would with a woman then they have they have committed abomination and they both surely deserve death so it's a pretty strict thing and basically she was standing up for her religious beliefs and telling people hey look if you're okay with that then let's be friends and uh if you're not okay with that kick rocks um there's a lot of people who, who I've dealt with in the past on YouTube who are heavily steeped into that world. Um, and that was a difference that, you know, with, it, it was a huge contrast for me personally, dealing with people who were so heavily uh, involved in that type of stuff. And there were times on the internet years ago where some people could probably tell I was a little uncomfortable, uh, you know, making comments and, and playing with certain people. Um, but, you know, after I went and got saved, you know, uh, went and got baptized and uh, my wife and I started to really focus more on our religion, reading our Bible, study Bible, our children, uh, you know, going to church, joined a church, a bunch of things have happened. We are that much more steadfast in our Christian belief. And I know that uh, Melanie was not nearly the Christian she is today years ago. And so that's... A false dichotomy of an argument that a lot of people try to straw man with that oh she took this hard right turn you know if you start if you learn something and you believe it and you have faith as the Bible teaches you to have um, after you you become saved and you start to understand what what it means to be a Christian what it means to follow the diction the, the uh, directions of the Bible what it means for you uh, as far as a person in the afterlife um, it becomes a lot more serious. You know, a lot of things you used to do, you no longer do. A lot of the activities you used to partake in, you no longer partake in. Uh, and a lot of that comes from the realization of the seriousness of what Christianity really means. And so, you know, I, I watched Rich from Review Tech's video on Melanie, and, you know, he, he kind of came from a perspective of, you know, she's grifting. She's doing what she needs to do, do to get eyes on her. I never really cared about how many subscribers she had. Um, and actually, this is my first time looking, 162,000, great for her. I never really cared about how many subscribers she had because her message usually resonated with me. I was very proud to see a young woman who looks beautiful uh, like women used to and be proud of that. Women used to in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s look like Melanie, just attractive, fit, exuberant, healthy. Uh, and they start to inject so many other types of beauty into the world that it's refreshing to see. So it was refreshing to see that, a woman like that, but also have a conservative Christian perspective on the world and, and call out people for needlessly changing the ethos of the West for nothing. And, and you know, I think it's a positive message she has. I'm happy she's not being canceled. Um, to the people who want to cancel her, you know, 
I want to see you guys start canceling the Muslims or start canceling, uh, you know, other religions that demonize or look down on certain aspects of life because most of the time people don't. Most of the time people expect Christians to just roll over and take it. And I think we've gotten to the point now where Christians are less apt to do so because people are waking up to the fact that Christianity has been ran over and has been disrespected and demonized, uh, that our God, the only true God, is the only God that's made fun of. And some people see it as a virtue to turn the other cheek. And I think that Christianity has done that nth, to the nth degree. And I think people are at the point now where they're willing to stand up and fight for what they believe in. So that's all I got to say on it. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. It's good to be back. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys.